Hi guys, I am back with another first impression. There are so many products out there right now that I'm like going back and forth and like I don't want to overwhelm you guys with first impressions. I mean, I went from BB creams to foundations to eyeshadows and pigments and all kinds of stuff, but I want to let you guys know if these things are good or not. So with that being said, yesterday I went to the mall and I did a haul. I picked up the new Urban Decay 24-7 concealer stick. Usually I am very, very like mm, and iffy about concealers because I don't normally like to stray from the concealers that I'm used to because I've had really, really bad experiences from them caking to them making me look tired and ashy and flaky and they crease. So I kind of just stick to the stuff that I have and I don't have like really bad dark circles or you know, like all that stuff that I need to worry about that too much. I've tried the MAC Pro Longwear because everybody raves about it, but it actually didn't turn out as good as I thought. And the girl said it's because my skin wasn't oily enough. I don't know if that's true or not, but whatever. So when I was checking out yesterday, because I went to go pick up the new spray, which I will do a review on once I use it a little more. I uh, saw this new little crayon and I picked it up and I, I said to the girl, are these new? And she's like, yeah. The minute that I swatched it on my hand, I was like, oh my god, it's so buttery. And then she goes, blend it in. When you blend it in, it goes from buttery to like a matte powder finish. Not a bad like, oh my god, is it going to crease? Is it going to look cakey? You know, not at all. She was wearing it on her eyes and it didn't look like all cakey or it wasn't like creased or anything. So I was like, well, how much is it? It's $19. There's eight shades. And I was like, well, you can always just return it if it doesn't work. So I brought it home last night. I went out and I do have some redness going on right here and like a couple blemishes. And I went ahead and I slapped it on and ladies, this is a go. This concealer is amazing. I honestly don't recommend it for under the eyes unless maybe you're a little more oily because I do feel if you have dry skin and you're not oily, you know, around your underneath eye area here, it might kind of look a little too powdery but this for like spot correction oh my god ladies this is amazing i'm going to insert like a video or a clip somewhere either here or at the end of the video where i show you guys before and after footage of redness and then gone like literally just one application makes it go away and it's very very red and in there you guys will see my freckles i was not wearing no makeup and i do have freckles you guys can't see them now but i have light little freckles on my face but yes ladies this is a very 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 good concealer it comes in eight shades i'm not sure if i already said that and i got the color atf which is kind of like the first shade i'm looking at my laptop here the first shade into the dark ones because there's CIA, DEA, FBI, NSA, and then those are like the lighter ones. Then you have ATF, DOD, KGB, and MI6. Very weird creative names. But it's a beautiful little pencil. The packaging is always gorgeous when, you know, it comes to Urban Decay. They never fail with that. And it says that it hides dark circles and blemishes with our creamy formula that dries matte and stays put. Because it's a pencil, it's easy to apply with precision. So yes, ladies, it does apply really good. It blends in really good. It stays put and the coverage is amazing for redness. But like I said, I don't recommend it for underneath your eyes if you have dry skin. If you're oily, it might work unless you blend it in with something else. But if you want to do like spot correction for like around the face or blemishes in the nose area, this product is amazing. I am recommending it. And you guys know anytime I recommend something, you gotta go get it. If you guys have picked this up already and you have oily skin and you've used it for, you know, underneath your eyes, let me know if it works better for you guys so like that other people can see. But I honestly think that this is better off for, you know, spot correction. And I've also read that on other websites like for reviews when I was looking it up. It does kind of go more towards that because it might, you know, get a little kind of maybe like a light crease because it does go on like buttery but then it turns into a matte powder finish love it pick it up let me know what you guys think and i will try to come back and do a first impression for the urban decay b6 vitamin infused complexion prep spray i used this last night but i actually messed up because i put on my lotion and then i went to spray this and you're supposed to put this on a fresh clean face so I did use this along with some of my other products, but I want to give them a little longer run and try before I come back and tell you guys what I think about it. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video, ladies. Bye.